Hi guys, welcome to another Keyshot tutorial. My name's Liam Martin, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how I go about illuminating metallic objects in a studio environment in Keyshot. Now recently, I've been trying to develop my own method for putting welds onto metals in Keyshot, so I've been working with them quite a lot. And I've been trying to better my game, trying to improve how I light these to fall more in line with what you see in traditional product photography that you find on e-commerce shots and in brochures. Um, everywhere. Now, when I started looking for reference images to go by, I noticed that they were pretty much all the same in a certain region. Uh, no matter what metal was being used, whether it was gold or aluminium, whether it was shiny, it was rough, they all had loads of contrast. Um, basically, all of the um, products that I looked at had big black sections on them where they weren't reflecting any light, and then normally a light either side just to kind of elevate the form. And I'm going to show you how you can go about doing that in Keyshot. Um, to make really good looking and satisfying renders um, very, very quickly. So I'm starting off in Keyshot with this scene. I've got a bike frame model in there that I got from GrabCAD. I'll leave the link to that below. It's a really nice model and great to work with for this. I'm using the default startup HDRI and using that as a background as well. Still think it's terrible. Haven't found a product that it lights suitably yet. So let's get cracking and make something custom for this bike frame. I'm going to start off by adding in a new environment. In settings, I'm going to change that to a gray. Okay, so we've got uh, about a 70% gray. And I can go in and add some pins. So I'll go to HDRI editor, add in a pin. I've got the set highlight command there. I'm just going to position that here for my model. I might even bring it over a little bit. And I'm going to increase the radius of mine increase the fall off a little bit and drop down the brightness, just take the edge off. And I'm gonna duplicate that and put that on the other side. So I'm just gonna hit set highlight again, bring that over here and we've got another one. Now the important thing is I, I can't light your product for you. You're gonna to have to come up with this yourself. But when going about doing this, you want to make sure that the highlights, um, the reflections don't go to the edge of the product. This is something that I've picked up on. So for example, this highlight here, um, there's a little bit of gray after it, and on each side there is gray. So that's gonna come in um, really well later on to kind of highlight the form of your product. You don't wanna have light bleeding around the edges, the strong lights bleeding around the edges anyway. Next thing to do is to get our contrast, and we're gonna do that by going to the background, going to the color, and changing it to black. Okay, massive improvement straight away. You can see that the product is way more suitably lit now and starting to become quite an attractive render. But at this point, there's something that still jumps out to me as not being realistic, and that is the black lines around it. So yeah, I talked about leaving space at the sides to highlight the form, but if this product, uh, if this render, sorry, was in real life and we had a gray background, that would be achieved by putting a big white or gray sheet of paper behind it. And naturally off that, you would have light bouncing off that onto your product and then onto the camera lens, into the lens, sorry. And so you wouldn't get pure black at the side of the product. So what I'm gonna do is go to settings, change it back to lighting environment temporarily. I'm gonna add in a pin and then I'm gonna position this pin to go behind the product. Okay, so now what we're doing is sort of simulating um, that scoop, that, that paper that you'd have in the background reflecting onto the product. You can go back to settings, change it back to color to give us a nice gray, and there we've got it. So if you toggle between that pin being on and off, you'll see the difference we've made. So now we've got that light just bleeding around the edges, just touching here, and that massively adds to the realism and makes it a far more convincing image. So like I said, I can't do your lighting for you. You're gonna have to come up with it yourself, but generally speaking, have a black background a few highlights, don't put the highlights to the edges, and you should come up with something that's um, really convincing, really satisfying renders in no time at all. That's it for the video, guys. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, get subscribed if you're not already. Let me know what you thought about it in the comment section down below, and please, if you use this and share your work on Instagram, tag me in it so I can see what you're doing. My Instagram handle is at LDMartin. For now, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.